Let's open some beers, <clears throat> I guess. Them up. So these smell delicious. My mouth is watering. So we've got some uh, fermented hawker-eyed turnips, um, and we ferment them by submerging them in a brine with 3% uh, salt. Then we just let them hang out at room temperature for eight to 10 days, and then we can drop them in the fryer. And because they're fermented, they've already got a little bit of acidity to them. They've already got a little bit of salt, and uh, the sugars have changed enough over the course of the fermentation. It's almost like a pickle. Yeah, yeah. exactly, it's a fried pickle, yeah. yeah. I love fried pickles. Yeah, who doesn't, right? Mm. It's a nice contrast to this beer. I mean, it's a dry beer, but it definitely does have a, a, a sweet yep. kind of candy character does, to yeah. it that I think is in a nice contrast to the tartness of this dish. Yep, the saltiness and the tartness, the sweetness from the beer just sort of rounds it out a little bit. And any real dominant flavor profiles you get from this beer come from fermentation as well, which is yep. you know a nice pairing with a fermented food. When I was thinking about trying to you know, pair your beers with food. I definitely wanted uh, fermentation to be, you know, front and center. And anytime you can get people excited about eating turnips, I feel like that's a win. Yeah, these aren't your grandmother's turnips, for no. sure. Mm -hmm. Lord, no. Lord, no. I, I cannot stop eating these. They're delicious. Good. I'm glad. Yeah, they're, they're not too bad. And with the beer, they're great. Mm. It really is a nice contrast to the flavors in the beer. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. 